we always start with, you, you know, like Stephen Covey says, you know, you begin with the end in mind. So what we want to do is what's the goal? What does success look like to the business owner? What does success look like to the stakeholders who are either investors or employees? And what does success also look like to their customer base? So we want to figure out what's the goals. And typically, you know, there are only three goals that are achieved when you develop websites or you launch social initiatives. The three goals are to produce content for you to become a subject matter expert or also to gain uh, higher search visibility so that more people can find your expertise. Two, to create a community around your product, service, and brand, like a lot of nonprofits and fundraising organizations need to do. And then three, conversion. And conversion is kind of the king of them all. A lot of business owners will then give a pushback and say, generating revenue is my only goal. And, and we say, you know, it, with all due respect and politely, <laughs> Generating revenue is not a goal unto itself. Generating revenue is a byproduct of meeting your goals. So we begin with the goals. From there, we want to go in and we develop some personas, some client personas. And who's driving the business? Who do you want to drive the business? What does your ideal client look like? <clears throat> and we worked with an audience research company uh, called Audience Audit here in the States and what she's taught us to do is to, to develop personas that have nothing to do with demographics because demographics are fleeting. If you think about it, you know, you're only going to be 25 to 29 for a short amount of time, you know, but if you're a, a, a but over a lifetime existence of a, being a client, you know, it's going to be more, it potentially can be more than four years. So what we try to do then is develop personas based on behavior. And when we develop personas based on behavior, we can find out what really drives them, what's important to them, and what helps them make decisions and go from there. After that, we match the content tools and, and the different platforms to, the, to what's important, where they live, and their behaviors. Uh, and, and during that process, are we identifying you know, these problems that need solved or are we um, figuring that out later? So we're going to identify, so typically we identify the problems that need to be solved either when the business is really broken. <laughs> and a lot of times the business is really broken and they come to us as sort of like the, the Hail Mary on their last leg saying, we have to help us do X, Y, Z. You know, a lot of other times during the persona development, we end up figuring out what problems are inherent to each one of the clients. How do we go ahead and speak to each one of those people. Typical problems that we get is, I have no visibility, nobody knows that my brand exists. You know, or I, you know, in a, the restaurant, bar, cafe industry, I would like to have my audience, my customers stay longer for larger tickets. You know, or I, I need to speak out, or a lot of times we work with startups, just trying to build buzz and get the word out, and again, you know, it's visibility. How do we position them within a tough marketplace or how do we position them within a competitive market? Okay. Interesting. So you're identifying different, different aspects here, uh, positioning, that kind of thing. Are there certain questions uh, that you're asking to uncover these things? <clears throat> yeah. My favorite question and a, a mentor of mine, Francine Hardaway taught me how to ask this, say, to any business owner, what keeps you up at night? What, when you lay in bed and you know, you, you're trying to fall asleep and you're, you're lying on your back, you're looking up at the ceiling fan, what's on your mind? Is it employee retention? Is it you know, growing a customer base? Is it customer loyalty? What's that number one thing? And then typically when they say whatever that is, whatever they say that is, that's typically never it. It's usually something else. <laughs> and what we'll say, and we'll follow it up with the question, okay, what else is going on? And typically when you ask that follow-up question, what else is going on? Then you really start to get to the problems that they're, they're experiencing.